Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This hair is from I Like Hair Wig, but um, I know you guys are here to see the hair, but I'm going to show you guys what they sent me. They sent me a wig cap, a band to adjust, and a bag with some goodies, and a rat tail comb, which I absolutely love, but this is the hair. This is what you guys are here to see. Already I'm seeing that the length is amazing, and now I'm taking out the net to really take in everything. And I'm really excited to see the hairline because it's supposed to mimic, oops, <laughs> it's supposed to mimic a real hairline. So I'm really excited to see that. Well, when I say real hairline, I mean real natural hairline, like a 4C. Uh, the curls are beautiful. And I'm showing you guys the hairline right now, how it looks like. And this is it. It has a comb at the bottom, two on the side, and one at the top to secure it if you want and I'm putting it on so you guys can see exactly how it looks like right out of the box okay so this is it right here again you can tell that the lace is really really good quality although we're gonna make it look even better we're going to tint the lace but until then this is it right off the bat right out of the box the curls are beautiful and I'm showing you guys the lace but we're going to tint it so you guys know I use my Fenty bronzer and my flat brush to tint my lace and I use a bronzer instead of a foundation because a bronzer is the closest thing to my forehead color. Um, my forehead is much darker than my face so that's why I use a bronzer so use whatever matches your face and I know my hairline right now like my real hairline is looking hella dry but <laughs> that's because I did other reviews before this video so yeah there's a little bit of glue on there but anyways this is how I tint my lace you guys as you guys see in my other videos um, I always just do this I put some bronzer and then I just make sure that I'm covering the lace and I'm focused especially on the hairline because that's where you want it to blend the most. And now I'm gonna put it on and you guys, where's the lace? Where is the lace? If you see it, let me know. <laughs> I'm putting a side by side before and after and this is the difference that it makes when you customize and tint your lace, okay? So I recommend everybody do this. So now I'm giving you guys a close up of the hairline. It's beautiful. It looks like my real hair, like what? But yeah, now we're going to cut the lace. So as you know, I usually use my eyebrow scraper. And as you can see, I'm really doing an up and down motion, up and down. I'm not cutting like a straight line because if you do that, then the lace is just going to look way too obvious. You really want it to blend in with your skin. And now I'm going to take the adjustable straps and I'm going to put it inside the hooks just to make it nice and snug. So I do that and then I'm going to put the wig on top of my head so you guys can see how it looks. And yeah, this is it. Like, you guys, this is giving, oh, that's your hair? What? <laughs> I really, really like it, you guys. You can actually wear it glueless, okay? So let's be honest, this right here, you can wear glueless if you really wanted to. Uh, the sides, if anything, you could add some mousse, but look at this. It looks like I glued it already in the front and I'm passing a comb through the front and like, I'm telling you guys, this is amazing. This lace is such good quality, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it down with my got to be spray. So it's not a real glue which just you know to hold it in place because you really don't need glue for this wig and yeah so I'm letting it dry a little until it gets tacky and then I'm going to place it in place well put it in place whatever I go <laughs>
So now I'm just really making sure that the sides are nice and fitted and I'm using my comb to make sure of that also. Not everything is going to be properly stick down, like stuck down, but that's okay. Um, so I take my melting band and I put it on and I'm going to leave it for a little bit. So right now I'm literally just finger combing the curls so that you can see how the curls can look when you want to add some volume to it and yeah you guys this hair is beautiful it's really really nice and natural the hair is super cute and as I was finger combing it you guys there was no shedding at all okay so um, as you can see you do see the line of demarcation which is the you know the white line but that's okay we're gonna take our bronzer again and we're gonna put it all over the hairline okay and that's gonna make it blend in nicely as you can see it's already making a big difference but yeah this is a look right here I am I'm, I'm actually loving this look like it looks amazing but as you can see on the side over here it didn't take properly to the got to be spray and that's completely fine so I'm going to take some more got to be glue and I'm gonna glue it down just a little bit more but in the meantime I'm feeling myself so <laughs> so I put on some makeup and now I'm going to stick it down more So I basically did the same step as I did last time and then I'm going to put my melting band and then it should be good to go. All right, you guys, so off camera, I wet the hair and look at the curls, you guys. I'm in love, okay? The curls are beautiful and I'm taking off the band and you guys can see it looks really good. But again, I'm going in with my bronzer and I'm not putting too much on my bronze, on my, on my makeup brush, by the way. Just put the right amount and you guys, this looks amazing. Uh, this is the second wig I'm reviewing, reviewing from I Like Hair and I am very, very impressed. Um, look at the hairline. It looks so natural. You could do a side part, middle part, whatever you want to do. It looks amazing, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and shout out to I Like Hair for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Bye for now.